Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the GM Spartan Black Dog Squad, a unit based off the G series or GM uh, that was made primarily to work in subtropical environments and acted in, well, let's just call them mop up operations. They were fielded by the Black Dog Squad, or as some people could probably refer to them, the War Crime Squad. Uh, in game, it is a 400 cost ground only raid with a ballistic resistance of 16, a beam resistance of 9, and a melee resistance of 17. For, we got a range strength of 5. A melee strength of an impressive 35 at this cost, a movement speed of 130, and a thrust gauge of 6. For parts, we have close range of 17, medium of 8, and long range of 3. For equipment, this unit does have some ranged options. It comes standard with the Gundam ground type beam rifle, which is a chargeable beam rifle that's heat based, does decent damage, has decent range. If you don't like that, you can go with the Bullpup Machine Gun, which has half the range and takes about an entire clip to really get to about the same amount of damage potential. But it can do a lot of stagger and chip damage, so that might be what you want it to do. Or you can go with the Ever Trustworthy Hyper Bazooka. Very similar damage and, well, it really good at staggering if you're new to the game i'd probably suggest this unit for you or that weapon we have the heat knife e which is pretty decent damage wise it's a knife that's a knife this is a knife all the crocodile dundee jokes then we have the hand beam gun times two double beam pistols at an okay range for a decent amount of heat buildup, they're pretty good at basically if you can't quite get into melee for putting a decent hurt on especially a support or potentially getting some units to back off. Then we have the uh, <laughs> the WAM, <laughs> the W-A-M-M. It is a wired guided pair of missiles that fire. They follow your targeting reticle so you can guide them into a target problem is you have to stop and it does have actually staggering capability but i think you have to have both rock, uh, both of the missiles hit i'm not sure on that one then we have the ever trust where we smoke this charger which gives you um temporary stealth and gives you a slight defensive buff so even if you don't have it being popped up on for uh, trying to sneak around it's good for getting a little bit of that extra defense and then we have the hand grenade e enhanced i always think hand grenades are great to have on suits unfortunately in this match i do not have a time where it gets used but they function pretty much like every other grenade they get thrown and they go in a slight arc land and explode and they have a little area of effect they're kind of like Frown bazookas in a way. For skills, we have high performance balancer, melee combo controller, level 2, maneuver armor, level 2, anti blast stabilizer, assault booster, level 2, emergency evasion system, jamming, level 2, and special left shoulder armor buffer. So, I think this unit is quite a pain in the butt. It has a lot of damage potential, it has a lot of potential to catch you off guard, and it kind of works in the way it's presented in lore and from Code Fairy. It's a really good ambushing, uh, ambushing suit. So I think it's great if you're looking for something that makes you both a annoying jerk and a bit of a sneaky fellow. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic well, beginning of your weekend, and I hope your weekend's pretty good. I'm personally getting really tired of some of the match time weights I'm having to put up with. I've had a little bit more luck recently, but man, it's been agonizing of late. So, hopefully this is a uh, fun match for everybody, and let's get into it. So, 
we're going to start out by doing a little bit of jostling. I had considered going for B, but I thought it was going to be picked off by someone else, and I wanted to try to get into play as soon as I could. I was a little bit not sure how this unit would work. I'd only played it once or twice before. So, I, I basically said, you know what, I'm going to go with the basic as I take a fire and I take a shot and miss. I'm going to go with the basic loadout, I'm going to stay with the beam rifle, and we're going to sneak out and get a shot in on their support. Now the new uh, gun cannon support is a bit of a pain in the butt to work with. We're going to drop that, he's going to see us, but it doesn't really matter because we got our own guy, and we're going to uh, go in there and give him a little bit of a loving with the knife. Ah oh, man, we don't quite finish him off. We're, we got a whole team. Well, there we go with the first kill. And we're going to try to maneuver. I got guys on all sides. And my uh, support is trying to throw some of that sweet, sweet damage down. So, I'm going to try to maneuver over to the left. Hoping to uh, not be noticed. The unit is a little fragile from what I could see. But what I was trying to do is sneak in and get at these guys. I'm going to hit the Dom Tropen. We're going to hit that, but get hit by uh, some support fire. We're going to throw out our missiles, but not quite get a uh, stagger and or stun. And we're going to get some more damage out, but at this point I realized just how fragile the suit was, and we get our first death. Not too bad, considering. So we're going to spawn in at D. And we're going to immediately see this suit take it out the rest of the way. Let our team deal with what's going on over there. And we're going to try to back up our guys in this side of things. Uh, our Zuda F is in a bit of an ugly position. So I'm going to come in and I'm just going to try to uh, dissuade them. And I'm going to fire the rockets, guide them up, smack their support in the face. Which is kind of fun to do with the... Uh, the uh, wire guided stuff. We're going to get shot because I was trying to uh, be dumb. We're going to get another shot in and we're going to take advantage of our support being able to uh, put a little bit of pressure on their guy. Now what I was trying to do is drag some of their guys Oop! Ah, we missed him. We're going to try to drag some of their guys out in front of our uh, our support so he can chip away at them. And we got a uh, Ooh, it's the Hobby Hyzak. And we're going to come in, catch him with a little bit of the melee, but he's going to miss his uh, ability to counter us. Chip at him with that, fire our missiles into him, and we're going to be able to come in with a little help from the support and take him out. Shazam! So he's gone. We got a bit of a push over here. We're going to come in and help take him out. Nice. And uh, we're going to just... Throw a little bit of damage in there. Catch, uh, I believe that's the Aqua Gem or no Gundam Aqua. Ah, whatever. It's the Water Gundam. Now I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna take some shots. I believe I'm gonna take that guy out. Yep. And then I'm gonna get overly aggressive here because I wanted to open up the chance for my dude here to get in and be able to water dominance him. If you get my jest. But he's not quite able to. Uh, there's a little too much pressure on that. And, well, you know, sometimes aggression pays off, sometimes not. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to get a little tied up with their team. But two's there trying to support him. That, that support, I'm kind of sad I missed out. But, you know, when you have things going on in the family, you can't always take the time. So we're going to come in, drop that... Uh, <laughs> the uh, the smoke dispenser so I can get that defense and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna hit our friends here from behind knock the support down by taking a meaty chunk out of him nearly finish him off but I'm a little bit worried about the guy behind him so we're gonna fire the missiles into him then just finish him off with the beam rifle uh, and then I noticed there's a guy next to me <laughs> And uh, he's going to charge. I think he thought I was going to go straight in on the melee bit deal with him. But we're going to come in, catch up, knock him down real quick. We're using the uh, support as a bit of an anchor. Since their support is uh, not, be not being dumb. So he's not exposing himself or being alone. But I want to drag them out where my support can take advantage of them. We're going to fire missiles, get that thing. And we're going to finish him off real quick. But I can use his firepower 
to help make openings for myself, if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to try to help deal with the Hobby Hyzak really quick again. He's a good unit, so I just wanted to make sure he didn't have a chance to get at any of our guys. I was hoping to s curve those uh, guided missiles around the corner as my cat goes off in the background. But, you know, can't all have what we want. So we're going to push the Dom Tropen a little bit. But I'm just not going to uh, make too many attempts as we take another shot and catch him with one of them and get a little bit of that beam rifle goodness in there. I'm just not willing to go charging in there like a normally with a general because this unit can just get eva evaporated quick. So what I'm trying to do is move back and forth and hope someone comes down the, the way to get a, a jump on them, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. So we're in a bit of a gunfight. We got them backed up into this uh, position. I'm not really big on that. It's a reason I didn't try to capture A, for example. But one of their guys has gotten behind us, as my cat sounds off, and set a bomb. Well, that could potentially tie up the game and give them a little bit of a lead, but, you know, not happening. So I'm going to come in, take advantage of my guys, getting a little bit aggressive, do some sweet damage in on uh, the, <laughs> them, hit my own guy with my missiles, and then I'm going to push on the Hobby Hijack, let the Zuda F come in, and we'll just finish him off with the pistol. And again, we're going to come in, fire the missiles directly into his leg, come in, catch him with the melee, he's done. Then we're going to turn over, and I feel really bad for this guy. He just got dogpiled out of existence. And we've uh, pushed our lead up to a point where we really don't have to worry that much about them destroying the base. And, of course, so we are now taking that spawn point, and we have officially kind of put them into this space. I'm going to use the stealth again. I'm going to try to come out on the Hobby Hyzak, but he's like, no. And I don't blame him. We're going to miss on our guided missiles. They can only turn so much, but we'll catch him with a little bit of that beam rifle. The Gundam ground type beam rifle is a mean weapon. I noticed the support over here. I'm going to fire, hit him with that. Going to pop a few of those missiles in, but he's going to charge, and it's just going to be too late to do much of anything. So, well played on his part. So let's see how we did. Oh. That is, um, that is the gun pose. We'll just call it that. So we got two board positions. Nice. And first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.